in the clouds or going way underground, it's easy to take your music with you wherever you go. With Spotify Premium, you can save your favorite songs to your phone and listen offline. That means you can play anywhere, anytime, without using any data. And right now, you can try Premium free for 30 days. Ready to make the move? Tap the banner to learn more. more of whatever you're feeling. Spotify Premium now comes with Hulu. Enjoy all your favorite songs and playlists, offline and ad-free, along with the podcasts you love, plus the movies and shows that everyone's talking about. So make happy times happier with Lizzo and Brooklyn Nine-Nine, or more zen with our chill hits playlist and the joy of changing with Bob Ross. Listen more, watch more, feel more. Spotify Premium, now with Hulu. Hit the banner to learn more while the offer lasts. Terms apply.
There we go. That's better. That's much better. All right. What's up, everyone? Let's see, I'm going to get this off my desktop. No, not maximized, please. This is a good fucking choice. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and start up Go Go Nippon, because that's what we're playing tonight. We're playing some more Go Go Nippon 2015. I might check out 2016 some other time, but we'll play 2015 for now. That's loud. Uh, volume mixer, please. That's loud as heck. I'm going to adjust a couple things before we do anything else. There we go. That was loud as heck. All right. So yes, despite what my attire would indicate, we are not playing Overwatch tonight as much as me wearing my Shanghai Dragons gear would indicate that. Um, we are actually going to play Go Go Nippon. There are a lot of save slots for this. Oh well. So we just started day four, I believe when I left when we last left off last stream and it is morning once again oh got one more thing to do Okay. And I'm actually going to mute Go Go Nippon for a sec so I can actually talk about a couple things. Um, the first is, of course, this is the first full week of content because Monday I had Danganronpa Monday and an episode went up yesterday. Um, so I'm so hopefully this works out better for my stress levels and I ideally it's better for you guys too um, uh, where is slobs there's slobs actually doing really good on, on drop frames so far good uh, no not maximize um, can I adjust the shapey of chatbot? Yes, maybe. No, I can't. Crap. <laughs> um, anyway, what I was going to say was 
Um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna keep the like the episodes a bit more consistent going forward. So like I'm gonna stick with one with one game until I run out of episodes, for example. So this might mean a bit less variety on the YouTube channel, but it's hopefully going to be good for consistently finishing games. That's my ideal plan. Um, yeah, like consistently finishing games is a big problem of mine. That's why I've only finished like three games, three or four games since I started this, since I started doing this. And I think two of them were on stream. Stream's a super good excuse. Uh, I think the only ones I've finished on YouTube were Mario Party 3, I think that's really it, no, Sonic R, finished Sonic R, technically finished Monopoly, but that's because that's Monopoly, doesn't really count. Then I finished Valhalla, Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 2. Though I never called a finale on either one, I don't think. We're gonna get back to generations at some point. Wow. Anyway, that's enough rambling for me. Um, anyway, I, I hope let's have a good stream. Just keep it chill, relax, and unwind with some Go Go Nippon. Alrighty, let's get back to the game. Please? Game? Please? Oh, there it is. Why is it like that? Was it like this last time? I don't think it was. I feel like it wasn't. Hold on, I'll fix this. Yoink. There we go, that's better. That was an easy fix. Much better. All right. So we can get back to this. Uh, return to game. Sounds like you're getting the most of your days out here in Japan. Yeah, of course. That's all thanks to you and Akira. <laughs> when you say it like that, it makes it, this feel all worthwhile. Hmm. Say, where is Akira? She must still be asleep. Oh, but if you wouldn't mind, could you go try to wake her up? Oh no. I know where this is gonna go. We're gonna walk in on her changing or something. What? Me? Wake up Akira? But it's nothing to worry about. I'm not telling you to go into her room. Just stand outside the door and call out to her until you get a response. Ah, I see. 
It's Akira. I have no idea what might happen to me if I go into her room while she's asleep. Okay, I'll go wake her up. If you would. I know how this is. I'm fairly certain how this is going to... I wish I could just let her sleep, but we can't start the day until Akira wakes up. I'm pretty sure Akira's room is the first room on the second floor. That's it, the room with the open door. Hmm? Open door? Oh no. But... What? Huh? It's actually a really good but Like, can we look at that for a sec? This is a little lewd for Maine, but like, that's a good butt. That's a really good butt. How does this keep happening? First Makoto, now I catch Akira in a compromising situation. Just stay cool, stay cool. Um, good morning. You didn't come downstairs, so she sent me to wake you up. But I see you're already awake, so that's good. So anyway, I'll be waiting for you downstairs. Come down when you're ready. Now she should know it's just a misunderstanding. <laughs> I knew that was. <laughs> Dang. Or not. Ah, peeping Tom. Pervert. I am not. It's a misunderstanding. Makoto just asked me to come wake you up. Shut the hell up. You can't save yourself now. <laughs> oh, I needed the. I needed the laughs like that today. I wonder if Akira is still mad at me. She's been quiet all through breakfast. Um. Um. Yep. She's still totally mad. Come on, Aki-chan, don't stay mad. It's your fault for not waking up on time, don't you think? That was just... And I don't see how you can blame him when you were the one changing with the door open. That's a valid point. She left her door open. By the way, how are the audio levels? Yeah, like, how are the audio levels? If I need to turn... If I need to tweak anything, let me know, alright? Mm. Anyway, it's entirely your fault, so don't be mad at him, okay? Fine. Now, as a token of your restored friendship, won't you make the after meal coffee? Yeah. Whew. That was close. Thanks, Makoto. You don't have to thank me. I am the one who asked you to get her. It's true, but... Anyway, it's over now, so let's not bring it up again. Got it. Okay, here's your coffee. Ah, thanks. And it's gonna be bitter as... Hmm? This coffee is... It's full of salt. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did she put salt in it instead of sugar? I'm sure, it's just an innocent. <laughs> oh, she did it on purpose. She so did it on purpose. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I guess it wasn't a mistake. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, in that case, I'll just have to. Huh? Coffee sure was great. Thanks. Take it like a champ. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. <sighs> that was salty as hell. Idiot. Give me your cup. Give it to me. Come on. Come on, when you do something like that, how am I supposed to stay mad at you? Kira. Okay, here's another coffee. Take it. Don't worry, there's nothing weird in it this time. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. 
drink it. I'll get the t it'll get the taste out of your mouth. Yeah, thanks. Anyway, let's decide where to go today. Oh shit, I have to choose. Uh, oh god, I want I want to go to Akihabara so badly, but I want to save that for like the last day. Uh, Ikibukuro. I think I'd like to go here. Ikibukuro, right? That means... Okay, I'll be showing you around. Yes! Yes! Get a care of. We'll head out once I clear the dishes from breakfast. Get your things ready and I'll be right there, okay? Got it. Ikibukuro, huh? I wonder what kind of place it is. Well, it can't be worse than Shinjuku. Fuck 80. Well, here we are. This is today's destination. Yep. Be ah, there we go. Okay, so Ikibukuro. So I'm actually gonna show you guys what Ikibukuro looks like IRL. Or display capture can just not work. That works too. Properties, display one. Which display is this? Try it like this. No. Nope. Well, unfortunately, we don't get Google Maps photos today. Yep, I'm just going to give up on that for now. So unfortunately, we don't get Google Maps photos of 
Ikibukuro today. This is, that's right, this is Ikebukuro, the second busiest travel destination in Japan. Second busiest? You'd think the second busiest place in Japan would rank pretty high on a worldwide scale, too. And there really are, it's as crowded as I'd expect for the second busiest place in Japan. Just leaving the station and coming here, I feel like there were an awful lot of people. I should tell you, this isn't even the busiest day of the week. What? Seriously? Yeah, on Saturday and Sunday, the number of people you'd see here would put this to shame. This road, Sunshine Shuxi Dori, is the most popular place to gather in, in Ikebukuro. This doesn't even compare to the crowds you'll see here on the weekends. A lot of people today here today already, and if it doesn't even compare, but as scary as that sounds, I kind of like I'd kind of like to see it. The town of Ikebukuro was once a very small village, but about a hundred years ago, a train station was built here. From there, the population grew rapidly until it became the city we see today. Sunnies. That's totally not Denny's. I love it. Wow, that's amazing. A lot of painters and artists seem to have lived in this area from before World War II. They call it Ikibokuro Mon Montparnasse. After the Montparnasse in France. Wow, an artist town? Yeah, and it may be because of that. A lot of manga artists still live here today. Manga, I love manga, especially Japanese manga. Uh, as if there's anything else? Just saying. Really? Have you ever heard of Osamu Tezuka? Tezuka-sama, the god of manga, yep. That's right, you really know your stuff. Osamu Tezuka also lived in the Ikebukuro area. They say that many aspiring manga creators make pilgrimages to his apartment. Wow, I always thought of manga as kind of disposable entertainment, but when you think about the history, it really does feel like an art form. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot in manga. It's great. It is. It's not fully appreciated the, that way within our country either, but... Well, anyway, now that you know a little bit about the history of Ikebukuro, why don't we walk around a bit? Okay, then let's go, or so I'd like to say, but... What? What's wrong? To tell you the truth, I really need to go to the bathroom. Is there a public restroom somewhere in the area? Oh, come on. I told you to take care of that before we came here. I'm not proud of it. Oh, well. Unfortunately, Japan's shopping districts don't offer a lot of public restrooms. What? Seriously? Then what am I going to... We don't have a choice, so we'll just have to make do with this area. This area? But with all these people here on the street... Well, we won't have to resort to that. Mm, but I'm not sure I can hold in much longer. Mm, what should I do? <laughs> huh? Sorry, it's just a joke. A joke? Then what? Ah, but there really aren't many public restrooms around here. But it's okay, we can use the one at the Combini. At the Combini? Yep, if you ever need a restroom in the city, you can always go to the Combini. The arcade would be another option. Yes, arcades. I need to go to an arcade again sometime soon. I see, I'll have to remember that. Anyway, let's hurry. To the bathroom! Oh, please. I feel better. 
Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention, but there are some convenient shopping districts that won't let you use their restroom as a crime prevention measure. Just be sure to keep that in mind. It's like the gas stations that don't let you use your restroom unless you buy something. Well, they let you use it, so what's the problem? That's true, but still. More importantly, come on, it's time to go. This way. Hey, do you remember the name of the name of the street we were on? Huh? I think it was Sunshine. Yes, the sun, the sun, Sunshine. Sunshine Nokuju Dori. There's a reason it's called that. The Sunshine Six. The Sunshine Sixty. Jesus, that's a mouthful. The Crown Jewel Skyscraper of Ikebukuro. Wow, it really is tall. Is it called Sun Sun Sunshine Sixty? I am never going to be able to say that correctly. Ever. Is this 64? Bingo! That's absolutely right. The Sun Sunshine 60 was built in 1978. At the time it was built, it was the tallest building in East Asia. Unfortunately, it's further down the list nowadays. It's still pretty tall. Yeah, it is. I know. Hey, as long as we're here, do you want to go inside? Inside? Are you sure? I am, am I sure of what? Well, isn't it an office building? Ah, don't worry about it. There are shops and public spaces inside too. Plus on the top floor. I can't believe there's an aquarium in Sunshine City. I hate faceless person. Are you shocked? Totally. We've also got stuff like a planetarium, a theater, a museum, even a shopping center, and a park. All that? Then you could spend a whole day just in Sunshine City. That's the idea. Wow, I see. Hey, look over there. That fish has a funny face. <laughs> You're right. It looks a bit like you. Oh. Hey, my face doesn't look like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, look over there. You can see ocean sunfish. You really can. It's been a long time since I've been to the aquarium, but it's nice to come here every so often. Yeah, it is. I can't believe we're looking at fish this high in the air in the middle of the city. <laughs> now that you mention it, it is strange. Yeah, I wonder how the fish must feel. How the fish must feel. Hmm? Do you know what people say that they feel sorry for the fish in aquariums and animals at zoos crammed into these little spaces? They say it's wrong and there should be more space to move around in, but sometimes I wonder if that's really true. Akira? Thinking about it from the point of view of a fish or an animal, why would you care about the size of the world outside? Living in the wider world would mean a cruel struggle just to live another day. You might get eaten before you grow up. You'd live in constant fear of death out there. It's true. It's doggy dog out there. Sometimes I think it might be nicer for them to live in these tanks where they don't have to worry about predators or finding food. Maybe that's just another form of happiness. It's not as if the animals in zoos and aquariums know what they're missing, right? If they don't know about it, the space they're in right now is the center of their world, don't you think? Do you know the Japanese phrase, the frog in the well knows not the ocean? No. Uh, it was originally a Chinese proverb. That means that when you, it means that when you live in a small world, you don't know what it's like to live in a larger one. The frog has lived in a well his whole life. What does he need to know about the world outside? That's what I think. What am I doing? I'm just babbling on about stuff again. Sorry, don't mind me. B but seriously, let's keep going. Looks like there's sea otters and penguins up ahead. Sh 
sure. Oh, those penguins were adorable. How much have I spent? Jesus. Fifty dollars. Wow. Yeah, they walk so funny. They really do. The otters were cute, too. I feel so satisfied. Although I never expected to see anteaters in an aquarium. Alright. There's an anteater who keeps escaping. He's kind of famous for it. Wow, really? Alright, story time. I actually have a story. So, I'm going to actually bring, bring this up. So... Back home in Albuquerque, we have a zoo. And in this zoo, there are peacocks. They technically have an exhibit, but they they never stay there. So you can, you're can you liable to run into them roaming around the zoo. It's great. I always loved it. Just I, I could just be walking by like the fish pond and, oh, hey, there's a peacock. Then I'd be over by the elephants. Oh, hey, there's another one. It's great. I loved it. It's kind of like the anteater that Akira is talking about. And it just reminded me of that. And it actually made me really nostalgic for back home. A rare instance of that happening. Anyway, I'm getting a little hungry. You want to get something to eat? That's what I've been waiting for. I've been starving since we were in the aquarium. Because you were watching the fish? Ah, oh, now that you mention it, maybe so. Please, you're hopeless. But anyway, I wonder where we should eat. Is there anything you're in the mood for? Me? Hmm, I want... Uh... What do you recommend? Hmm, there's a type of food associated with Ikebukuro. What is it? Ramen, of course. Yeah, good old ramen. You mean noodles? They're originally a Chinese dish, but Japanese people have taken them in another direction. It's practically become the national dish. There's violent competition among ramen shops in Ikebukuro. It's known as the Ramen Wars. What? That sounds kind of dangerous. But look, there's one over there and over there. See? Everywhere you look, all ramen shops. I see with that many shops around, it really is eat or be eaten. I know, right? For the more popular shops, you might have to line up for half an hour to eat there. Anyway, let's run. Let's. Retsu ramen. That's a strange turn of phrase. Hmm? You're looking at me funny. Nothing. I always look like this. I see, that's true. Hey. Anyway, I'll follow you. <laughs> Here, this way. Come on. Ah, we had to wait a while, but we're finally inside. Hiroshimase! Whoa, what a loud voice. This is amazing. The force of the greeting is one of the shop's trademarks. Better order. Oh, this place uses meal tickets. Meal tickets? Yes, you see that vending machine over there? You buy a ticket for what you want to eat and take it to the man at the counter. There's a vending machine in a restaurant. <laughs> That's right. They're pretty common in Japan. It's true. Maybe you should stick with the standard ramen for today. Sure. Omatasemishimashita! Thank you for waiting. Whoa. This is ramen? This is like long noodles like pasta floating in a bath of hot... Yeah, yeah this is like legit ramen. Supposed to slurp up the ramen while it's hot, blowing on it to cool it down. Slurp it? Yes, make a lot of noise. I know it's hard for foreigners, but for Japanese people, slurping noisily is the proper way to eat noodles. Can confirm. I see. Anyway, let's hurry. Itadakimasu. <sighs> it's very good.
I guess I don't even have to ask. Someone recorded that slurping noise. 800 yen for one bowl of ramen, huh? Wow, that was great. It was so delicious. You seem happy. I'm glad. I can see why ramen has become a national dish. I know, right? I've got to eat it again while I'm in Japan if I get the chance. Anyway, as long as we're out, would you like to walk around town a bit more? Sure, that sounds good. I know, it's a bit far from here, but there's a temple where they hold a festival for a goddess called Kishibojin. Long ago, she was a fearsome monster who would kidnap and eat children, but the Buddha saved her. She took a maternal form and became the goddess of childbirth and child rearing. Yo. Wow. Hey, Aki-chan, what's for dinner tonight? Mm, tonight, I was thinking about making curry rice. Yay, I love your curry rice, Aki-chan. Curry? Isn't that Indian food? Well, curry originated from India, but it came to England from there. Then it came to Japan. Japanese people reformed it to suit their palates. Reformed it? I guess I've changed a little from just a few days in Japan. The same could happen with food coming to another country, too. There's curry, pizza, and pasta, too. French, Chinese, Asian food, East and West, Japanese people eat food from all over the world. And they, and they incorporate them all aggressively into their own food culture. I'd pictured Japan to be all about sushi, tempura, and sukiyaki, but Japanese people really eat a wide variety of food in their daily life. <laughs> By the way, curry is up there with ramen as Japan's national dish. Wow. That's right, curry rice, curry bread, and even soup curry. Also curry ramen, which tastes nasty. I drank it so you don't have to. I drank curry ramen, curry ramen, so you don't have to, guys. I want my $3 back. Wow, curry's really that popular, huh? But among those, curry rice is the king of kings. Everyone loves it, from children to adults. Just hearing about it makes me hungry. Doesn't it? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. This is not gonna end well. You don't have to. I can make it myself. You talk to them while I'm making it. But you make dinner every day. I feel bad. Please? You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to worry about it either. But... It's not like you just being so secretive. It's just... Well... Koto can't be that bad. Oh, yes, she can. I know exactly where this is going. We're doing really good on drop frames. That makes me happy. Fine, if you insist, I guess Onechan can help me with the cooking. Oh, no. Yeah. Hooray! Good luck, Picotto. I'm looking forward to it. Oh no. That's right, maybe I can do something too. No, you don't have to worry about it. Instead, you're the one who insisted that only try and help out, so you're the one who takes responsibility for the final product. <laughs> huh? Responsibility? <laughs> oh. 
seen enough anime to know where this is going. Anyway, hey, wait a minute. Maybe I'll let Onichan make the salad. I got it. She can't. She can't possibly. Oh no. First odds? Wait a minute. <laughs> huh? Wait, that's almost the whole bag. That's way too much. Now I'll add... What exactly is this? Ah, uh, oh well. I'll throw it right in. Uh, I see. This is why Hakiro is so hesitant. Here we go. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Here you are. I worked hard on this cell, so do help yourself. Sure. Uh, and you'll want to put on my special dressing. It's never good when it goes reverse negative. I see long tortured strands of something protruding from the bowl. <laughs> Unnatural day glow. Oh, Jesus. But it won't get eaten if I just stare at it all day. Itadakimas. Dear. So it's up there with Yukiko's curry. Oh no. It's up there with Yukiko's curry. <sighs> I'm sorry, I thought I'd done a good job today. Anyway, at least Akira didn't let her get involved with the curry at all. That curry really was delicious. I guess I know now I'm always to leave the cooking to Akira. I'll make sure to do that from now on. Anyway, at least it's over now. Hey Onichan, do you remember what we talked about before dinner? Hmm? The fact that you only have three days left in Japan. We'd still have time to make the trip, wouldn't we? It's true, I'll be going home in four days. I was thinking maybe you'd like to go somewhere a little further tomorrow. Kyoto. St yes, obviously there are still a lot of places you haven't seen in Tokyo, but... As long as you're in Japan, we thought you might like to see someplace outside of Tokyo. Someplace outside of Tokyo? Like where? A place every traveler to Japan just has to visit. Kyoto and Nara. Yep. Yeah, no, I would like to go there, but... But... Do you have a problem with that? I don't have a problem, but I don't know a lot about Kyoto, and even if you want to go tomorrow, I don't even know how we'd get there. You take the Shinkansen. Oh, is that all? If that's the case, then don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll go with you. Huh? Y you mean both of you? Of course, I know you haven't gone out with us, but I want, we want to go on this trip too. Yes, I've been to Kyoto many times before, but this is a special opportunity if you're going. I see. I wouldn't dare go alone, but having them there would be reassuring. Okay, in that case, let's take a trip. Hooray, then it's settled. That was sudden, but maybe we should make it an overnight stay in Kyoto. We'll take care of the reservation, so you just get ready for the trip. Got it. Kyoto, huh? <laughs> this should be fun. It's a really sudden trip, but I did come all the way to Japan. Getting to see a lot of different places is one of the joys of traveling. Kyoto. I wonder what's waiting for me there. This should be fun. 
Yeah, that's day four done. Or All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. Oh, it's day four now. So it's uh, we've been live for about a little bit over an hour. So I am actually going to go ahead and take a break. And I encourage you to do the same. Um, I do have, if you're new, which I doubt any of you are, um, I have a couple things. We have merch. And we have, and we have links, and we're taking a break now. So without further ado, I'm going to get up, stretch my back a bit, and I will be back in about five minutes or so.
actually gonna mute that while I eat. Oh yeah, so you saw it during the opening bit, but I got this giant ass chocolate bunny on clearance today. No idea how I'm gonna eat this fucking thing. It's gonna take fucking forever. But I was like, two bucks and change? Sure, I'll do that. <laughs> do a lot of stupid shit. Do a lot of stupid bullshit just because I can. Alright, I didn't miss anything on Discord. That's right, I've actually like finished the base game. see do I have all of them do I have no idea what my progress is on achievements Okay. Yeah! Wallets? Check. Change of clothes? Check. Okay, in that case, our one night, two day stay in Kyoto. Let's go. Now, as for our itinerary from Tokyo to Kyoto, We'll get on the Shinkansen from here at Tokyo Station. The Shinkansen! Of course I am, it's the sh the bullet train. Is it really? Sure is, I mean I've been hoping to ride it at least once. Look forward to this. I'm sure you are, but first we need to buy our tickets to get on. Sure, let's do that. First, there are several Shinkansen lines when you get out of Tokyo. The one that goes to Kyoto is called the Tokaido Shinkansen. Tokaido Shinkansen, right? Yes, there are also three kinds of Tokaido Shinkansen. Those are the Nozomi, the Hikari, and the Kodama. Okay, yeah. So basically, full service or express. The Hikari. They're about 500 kilometers. 
this only makes the trips in about two hours. It's even faster than I thought. By the way, all the trains cost the same amount, so if you're going to a major station like Kyoto or Osaka, it's better to take the Nozomi. Now, without the tickets, to ride the Shinkansen, you'll need both a boarding pass and a special express ticket. Thirteen thousand yen. Cheaper each way, so it's best to go round trip for your boarding pass whenever possible. That's right, when you're using a rail pass you can't use the Nozomi, so be careful. Go to a travel agency, you can sometimes buy a bundle with hotel reservations at a discounted price. Wow. Seats on the right side? Why? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now you've got me curious. Tell me. Give me just a moment. Oh geez, we are dropping hella frames. And like, stream dropped. Jeez. Yeah, not only are we like dropping hella frames, like stream dropped there for a little bit. Shit. Looks like we stabilized though. That's good. 